Welcome to this look at an updated mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm here on the updated version of Bally Spring. Uh, this has been requested by quite a few people for me to do uh, an, another map tour on it because it's been expanded, extended, that kind of thing. So here it is. This is by Irish Connor, Glengar Boy and Air Agri Modding, 883.6 megabytes download. There are four options when you download this on console um, so you've got multi fruit has been added to the silos so you can have it with multi fruit and relight which is the lighting sort of mod that was added in a lot of people didn't like that they said it was too bright so you've got the option of to have the multi fruit and relight on multi fruit and relight off multi fruit and, and re relight both off multi fruit off relight on so you've got a few different options then if you don't want to go multi fruit you don't think that you should be doing that you do have some options to choose from so i think i've gone with multi fruit on relight on as as my start option um there are well there are eight required mods it shows six it automatically downloads six and when you go to load the map up it says there are two more that are required um so you, you have to then download those and then you'll be able to get onto the map um, slot count on new farmer is 1,605. Now, the, the point about the update, the map has been expanded to the full 2x. Two extra farms have been added. Some of the farmyards have been reworked. The biogas has been reworked. Um, we've got the ability to remove parked cars around the map. The custom vehicles going around the map seem to be a lot more. There are police cars. There are uh, lorries. There's all sorts of stuff going around that I don't remember being on the previous version. Um, what else? Um... All oh, the animal pastures have been adjusted because on the previous version, if you put in a, mo if a base game pasture, it wouldn't show the modded animals. So what's been done is they've put in, not only have they got the modded versions, they have then put in modded versions of the base game animal pens. My suggestion to you would be to use the ones that are on the map. It does give you the ability to use modded pastures, but it does say for things like the calves that require milk, you can feed them milk, and the goats that produce milk, you need a, a mod pen that will support that. So you're better off really going with the ones that are in here, I think. Crop types on this, I think, has been expanded as well. We've got clover, hops, millet, mustard, onion, peas, rye, linseed, and field bean, as if that wasn't enough. Uh, if we go into our menu, actually no, we're going to this menu first, and we scroll down to here. I've got that in, I've put that in just to get around the map, I just thought it would fit a little bit nicer. But under Bally Spring, we've got a tyre, you can buy those tyres, you can put them on top of your silage clamp when it's done, to add a bit more realism and then for the onions this has been added in the evo 290 onion for harvesting your onions as a crop um, because there wasn't an onion harvester now something else i'm going to show you if we go onto the map you will see that we have got the additional premium expansion crops growing on the map already um which is curious because on the right hand side it's showing there red beet carrots parsnip rye millet alfalfa onion hops clover mustard peas linseed um, and field bean now you may say well that's not unusual because it's premium i haven't got the premium expansion turned on <laughs> so they're on here but if you want to harvest them plant them or do anything with them you're going to need a modded harvester or you're going to need the premium expansion but they are on here already and as you can see around the map we have got some growing already so something to be aware of field prices are pretty much what they were last time on new farm we do start with the main farm here and you can see down here this has been added and up here this has been added the map ended pretty much here it kind of swept around um there were trees across this bit here you couldn't go beyond and then i mean you sort of could it was a bit yeah it's been extended and the top farm was here so this one has been added in and all of this which means this farm has been expanded a little bit further that way this farm has been expanded a little bit further so we've got some additions there are a couple of things that have pretty much stayed the same so i won't go and show you those um we've got our sawmill and carpentry there carpentry is just a sell point sawmill is a production and then we've got our spinnery out there now the spinnery does have quite a large placeables area to it as well so if you want to add more productions and things like that on the map you absolutely can so that's the map sort of i'm going to put some money in a moment as well if we go into our build mode i'll try and be quick with this we have added in 
a whole load of sheds under Bally Spring Mods. We've got under silos, we've got a whole load added in. And what's been added in as well is um, before it was just bale storage, I think. Now we've got bale and object storage. So bale and pallet storage is, have been added in. And a lot of the farms do have those as accessories. Um, so under silos, we've got one under silo extension. We've got the liquid manure extension tank under container. We've got fuel, we've got water, and we've got a slurry buying station has been added in. Uh, under tools, we've got the four post lift master, which is up at the main store. Farm houses, there are an absolute load in here. If we go to our production, I think we've got the BGA, which has been tweaked a little bit. And then we've got the sawmills pack there. Under selling points, we have got Bally Springs sell everything. And then the sawmills pack mod for sell point for carpentry. Nothing under greenhouses, orchards or generators. Uh, under animals, and this is what I was talking about. So you've got the standard base game stuff. You've then got the uh, mods that have been added in. So self-made cow shed, slatted, slatted cow shed, those. But these are your base game ones that have been converted to allow you to have the extra animal types in there. Plus, there's a custom TMR mix on here, which incorporates potatoes and onion and uh, the new crop types, carrots and parsnips and all sorts of stuff. So there's a custom TMR mix you can do for those. Uh, under horses, pigs, sheep... I'll show you the pastures in a moment as well. Um, chickens. Now, the interesting one with chickens, we've got chickens and ducks, chicks and ducklings. They will produce manure now as well on here. Using these ones, they will produce manure. There aren't actually standard on the map. At least I haven't found any. Um, maybe I'll put one of those in. Yeah, possibly. Now if we go to our fences, we've got a load of walls and fences that have been added in. You'll see there load of walls and fences under Bally Spring. Uh, there was nothing under lights, nothing under... Oh, yes, it was under others. We've got a toilet and we've got a grill. Uh, if we go to our landscaping, we've got a few extra painting textures with some cobbles and concretes. If we go to our trees, there was nothing. However, I need to say something about the trees in a minute. And plants, we've got these textures. So you've got field create options here for cultivated and you've got um, ploughed, stubble tillage, ridged... So there's a few different options there you can do. Now, as far as trees go, our sleep trigger is just here. If we go over to our wall and press L1, we can hide objects, which you had before, so you can remove walls or at least hide them out of the way if you don't want them. Hedges now are treated as trees. And with the hedges all in, it exceeds the tree limit, so you will not be able to place any new trees. But what you will need is a chainsaw. And for these now, you need to find the post find one there we go like that and it will remove a section now it does suggest you're using a mulcher um, to do that or a stump tr uh, removal there are a few different mulchers ones that remove trees that kind of stuff because doing that it says it does say it can leave stumps in the ground which can glitch so you're better off using a mulcher to do that so if you want to remove hedges you want to do it with a chainsaw if you want to do walls and barbed wire fencing think that we'll do it with this as well l1 hide objects so fences barbed wire fences walls we can hide he says there we go uh, hedges need to be removed with a chainsaw into the main yard now this hasn't changed much other than we have now got um, a refillable fuel tank all the farms now have refillable fuel tanks rather than a buy point for fuel that was added in Vehicles and machinery, I think, are pretty much the same. Um, if we go to our cows and we have a look here. So if you if you didn't see the previous version of this or watch the previous map tour, we've got additional um, animal types. So we've got Frisians, we've got Jersey, we've got Angus, we've got Herefords in here, including heifers, calves, cows and bulls. So a whole load in there. If I put in... Oh, that was what I was going to show as well. If I put in a calf, for example, like that, then we go into our no, into that menu, go to our animals. You'll see it says food, total capacity effectiveness. You've got TMR or milk 
for calf pens. So you can feed your calves milk, which was the same on the previous version, but you've also got fodder added on the bottom there, so grain and root crops. So you have got a few different options with regard to food there. So it kind of customizes it a little bit. What I meant to show you under build mode, under animals and under cows, out on the end here, not out on the end, where is it? In the middle here. So the calf igloos that were a PC version only, normally these are modded um, placeables. You can place these and you can put one calf in those. So if I do that and put that down, and go over to that. So you can actually use the calf igloos, which is pretty cool. So we can put our calf in. And there's our calf. They have Irish ear tags. They've been changed and adjusted. So you can actually have separate calf igloos, which is brilliant. So like I said, that's been added in. Um, Multi-fruit silo. If you've gone for the multi-fruit option, if you haven't, that's fine. But that will now do multi-fruit. And what we're going to do is whiz out and have a look at the... Um, I mean, I could do it here, actually. Let's do the chicken one. We'll do it here. So if we go for our pasture option, go to animals, go to our chickens. And go for the modded one there. Open chicken pasture. It depends how big this is. It might not fit in this gap. I might do. There we go. 500. So I put that in there, and there are ones for each of them. So I do that and place it. It now says there are too many animal pens, so be aware of that. But what you will get is your pasture like this, and you'll get this. If I jump up now, you see that blue plane? That's to show you where it will place when you're going to place it. Now that will stay there unless you go to this sign and hide marker. If you hide marker, and now I jump. You'll notice that's now gone. If I go back up to there, that's now gone. But what you can also do, if I come between here and here, I think it is, and press L1. There we go. It says hide object. You can remove the troughs if you want to. So if you want to have it more as an open pasture without the troughs being in the way, you can remove the troughs. So show object, and that puts the troughs back in again. That's the same with all the pastures. That's been added in. All very nice indeed. So... Um, the lake and the rivers have had, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, fish, animated fish into the lake and rivers, which I don't need to go out that way now. Um, one thing that has changed, I think at a lot of the farms, we've got areas, placeable areas, which look like they should have pastures on them. The previous version of this, if you went up here and over the bridge, that was a big open pasture. Um, that's not now, that's been removed. And I think that's been removed because we're at the limit with the amount of farms and the amount of animals with the two extra farms added in, which now have animals on there. And as you saw, I've just placed a pen and that says I'm at my limit. That pasture in that field has been removed. But there are pastures all around that look like you could place them. However, like I say, as you've just seen, um, it will remove... What does it say? You're at your limit, so you're going to need to remove something, was what I was going to say. Got sidetracked. Right, from here then, let's get round as quickly as we can. I'm not going to, at each of the farms, go through every single item at the farm unless it's changed much to the original. What I am going to do before I move on, I'm going to put some money in, because I'm going to need that to buy a load of stuff. So bear with me a moment. Right, let's go. I'm pretty sure when I did the map tour on this before, one of the areas had a horse pen and one had chickens, and somebody said, oh, you missed the chicken pen. I've, I've bought up every plot of land I could think of that I could find, and I haven't found one on the map. It's not to say there isn't one. Um, the custom vehicles, there's a lot of police cars parked at houses, I've noticed. There's, there's a very large um, Garda presence on the map. We come to this plot here first. So we are here at plot 150. If we buy that and do that, We've got one of the bale storage sheds with object storage. That will hold 500 items. Most of them are 500. I think we've got one that does 1,000. I'm pretty sure the pig farm is pretty much as it was, but we'll buy it anyway. Just to be on the safe side. No. What are you doing? I'm pretty sure the chickens was behind this house, if I recall correctly. But again, I could be misremembering. Now, gates you can only open once you own the land. So we're now here. Plot 64, 365,520. Open the gate. Sleep trigger is just there.
into the farmyard. So again, refillable fuel point, we've got manure heaps. Multi-fruit silo if you've gone for the multi-fruit option. Water point. Manure heap. And in here we've got our pigs and piglets, porkers, boars, Berkshires, black pied, and a land race. So, and that holds 2,000, that one, um, which I'm pretty sure... Is that more than the... I'm sure it's more than the previous version. I'm sure it is. I'm going to go all the way back around again. No, nope, we're all right. Exiting through the front. This again, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember that road being directly opposite before to link up. Maybe it was. Next farm along. So we're now here. Plot 66. 246,168. Cows, sleep trigger just there. Again, we've got a fuel point. I've put on my notes. I mean, this is another one of those ones where the notes for this are, are mad because there's so much stuff going on on here. So again, fuel refill point, water point just over there. Um, multi-fruit silo if you've got multi- I won't keep saying that, but on this one I've got multi-fruit. So your silo is there, whichever version you've gone for. Gone for. Cows, again, in their various different options. Just here, 500 of your Frisians, Jerseys, Angus, and Herefords. Don't think this one's got, um, no. Any bale or pallet storage? Oh, no, that's what I was going to say about the extra crop types. With regard to planting and harvesting, I have made some notes. If we go into, I'm not going to read them in the order they are. I've just got them written down on my sheet of paper. Cedars, um, we can do clover, hops, millet, mustard, peas, rye, linseed and field bean. Can all be done with a cedar put into the ground. Uh, planters, we've got, um, what was planters? Mustard, onion peas and field bean are the extra ones you can do with a planter so some of those are duplicated between cedar and planter but if you're going to do onions it has to be with a planter there's not a separate onion planter it will just be done from there as far as harvesting goes you've already seen the onion harvester under the mods um, if we go to corn headers you do your hops with a corn header and then your regular header will do the rest so mustard and oils. Clover, as far as I can tell, and alfalfa. Clover, I think is a cover crop, or it could be a grass one. Um, and alfalfa definitely is a grass one, so you can ted it and that kind of stuff. Um, I meant to say those earlier. So with regard to planting, seeding, harvesting. The map still looks spectacular. I mean, you know, I have to say, even because I've got this, like I say, multi and relight, I don't think it's as bright as the previous version. There you go. So we have got, going around the map, and I, so I love the full up. There you go. We've got police cars, tally handlers. Oh, another one. Oh no. We've got JCB like front low, um, back hose. Is that one coming in? Or is that a tractor? That's a tractor. And I said this on the previous version. I loved that because it adds a, a, a level of immersion to it, I think. Now the next farm we're coming to has been tweaked a little bit. This has now got some um, bale and object storage, two buildings for that. I'm sure some of these ruined buildings and farmhouses have been changed. The, the, the roof structures look more refined, I don't know. The extension out on the top of the map as well is a castle on the hill with a windmill just to the south of it, which looks absolutely brilliant. You can go up and have a look. There are 100 collectibles on this map. Oh, that was the thing I didn't show. The Verges. Plot one, should I say. Let's go back to our map. So, 
if we go down to a bit which I know will work, if I click on that, so farmland one, value zero, takes in the roadways and a few bits and bobs here and there, so you can buy that if you want to. Uh, we are now, so we come from that farm, up here, up here, and we're now here, at plot eight, buy that, and do that, that and that. The farmhouse is up the road, as you can see we just bought that plot with this plot. I'm not going to drive all the way out there, there's a sleep trigger out there, and what we'll do here so I'm pretty sure this was just sheds before. We've got another water point, we've got another fuel point here, but we do have, up the back, we've got a bale and object storage. Was it here? That's the slurry point. Where was it? It's around the back of here, isn't it? There's your silo. There it is. There we go. Rusty hay shed with object storage, 500. And I'm sure... There we go, we've got another one here. Bale storage with um, object storage, 500. So we've got a bit of storage added in on this one, which wasn't there previously. I think the next farm is, is that is this... I'm pretty sure it's the same layout. But again, where I've put on all of my notes, I've put sleep trigger plus. Um, the plus, just for my notes, indicates that You've got the, turn the lights off. We've got the um, the refillable fuel tank. We've got a water point. Otherwise, if I write that down every single time for everything, every single farm, there's a lot. There's a lot on my notes. You'll see out to the left, the cast on the hill. There's a little track that runs out to it. And there's a windmill just in front of it. I did those plots. I think both those plots are on the um, the verges. So this bit here. That's where the windmill is, that's where the castle is. So there's no triggers, there's no nothing up there. Um, but because you bought those, I can, you could add them in if you wanted to. And we do have placeable points, I'm going to just throw the drone up. So, like I said, I think most of the farms have got them. And it, it allowed me to put the map, or start the map. So I kept thinking, maybe there's a mod missing. But if there was a mod missing, it would have made me install it. Um, but I think most of the farms have got a placeables point like that for putting, well, again, because we're at the limit, that could be a little bit trickier. But for, I don't know, silos, animal pens will be trickier. But So the only difference is I think at this farm here, so we're now at this one here, plot 52, 525 grand, or just over, should I say. Uh, sleep trigger is just down the road. It's just down there when we go over the bridge. We hop the fence here. Water point is there. And we've got bale and object storage there, 500. Silo is across the way with the fuel point just over the back there. And we've got some um, silage clamps. Most of the farms have got a silage clamp. I think even the ones that don't have animals have got... Um, I'm sure a lot of these little roadways that run around to the back have been added in. And then, so, like I say, you've got this large pasture here. Now, this is part of the land we just bought with that farm. So you've got there, which looks like that should have an animal pen in it. But again, you don't have to, but it is there. What we're going to do now is... Quickly, we down to here. This is the... Sell everything, sell point. And when I did the map tour last time, I did this later because I was taking a route that way. But because the map's been changed, see, look, more police cars. And when it says park cars, as far as I can tell, because I thought there were park cars along the main town, I think, there you go, mixer, cement mixer. I think it's on driveways and stuff like that, which makes it quite handy if you want to add in um, sleep triggers, if you're playing multiplayer with people. So we are at... Um, this is Bally Spring Mart. So you've got the Bally Spring Mart sell point and you've got the Bally Spring Mart animal dealer just there. Come back out. We've got the dairy to our left, just in there. That's fairly standard as far as I could tell. And then we head up. Now this was where there was a barrier of trees. So now we've got all this land opened up with hedges and stuff, but again, you can remove them if you want to. You, if you buy the land and run along that with one of the tree removal mulchers, job done. There's little houses all over the place. And I did off camera go around a lot of the plots buying 
up these small farmhouses in case there were triggers. There's another one up there. So let's go this way. And now we are heading on to uncharted territory. Another police car parked back there. <laughs> I did my my going round and familiarising myself with the map in the Massey, the little drop nose Massey that you get with the farm. And it only goes to 24 miles an hour. It took quite a while. That's why I decided to go for something a little bit faster. So we are at this farm, which is all new. I mean, it's, I say it doesn't look new, but it's new on the map. So from there, did those. We've come up across here, out along here, and we're now out here. Plot 78. 492,576. Do that and that. Sleep trigger is just there. Fuel point, water point, cow barn, slurry point, cows. I think this one's 500. There's a couple that only do 150, but that's a 500. -er. We've got manure heap, manure plates, and again, Placeables point looks like it could be for pigs, but there's nothing on there already. But you could if you wanted to. Silage clamp, silo, tucked around the side there. Uh, in case, because I didn't say really, I sort of showed them. But um, if we go to the silos, where are we? Just there. The Bally Spring Farm silo is 800,000 litres. So if you're curious, I'll just keep saying silo or multi fruit silo, or um, it's 800,000 litres, multi fruit or not, depending. So that's one of the new farms, which means our route to the next one, which is sheep and goats, is a little bit different to previously. But we get to take in some more of the wondrous countryside. Now the, the hedges do have collisions, so until you remove them, there's no shortcuts. But there are plenty of farmhouses with bits of land. I guess you could if you wanted to. Much is just difficult, isn't it? It's a lot harder when you've got a map that's got when, when you're at your at the limit for animal pens. Um, to um, to go on before you start a let's play. If you buy the land to remove the animal pens, you then can't sell the land back because you've still got other buildings and things on it until you remove them. So unless you remove every single farm off the map, but what you could do, if there are plots where you know you're not going to use those farms or that particular animal type maybe, I guess you could remove everything if you wanted to and bring that um, animal husbandry count a little bit lower. So it will give you a better option on your own farm then to add in what you want unless you just decide no we'll leave them on there and the, the plan is to buy up all the farms locally or something if you want to so this has been extended um, originally so we're here at plot 102 384,168 do that and that uh, sleep triggers out the front which is where it was before and then we've got our cows and uh, cows sheep and goats just here so we've got our sheep, lambs, rams, then we've got our goats, we've got kids, goat female, goat male, um, and you've got um, Welsh and Bentheim. Bentheim? Sorry if I said that wrong. In our sheep and our uh, goats. So if I buy a female goat like that, then we go back to our pens, you'll see on the right hand side it says milk again I, I would say if you're going to play on this use the pens and stuff that are part of the map it, ju it just makes more sense Silo now as far as I remember the previous version the map stopped literally just past this, these buildings so this has sort of been tweaked I, I'm pretty sure it has out the back water point there bail and object storage to 500 just there and the silo is just around the side. It's little bits like this that I love. You can't actually use them, but it's it's a, it's a I don't know, just adds to that immersion of the map. So I hope we're doing all right time wise.
let's go. See, last time I came up from there, I came up there, up to this farm, then you swept out and around. So, like, so all that stuff on that that top farm in the northeast is all uh, all new. I think removing. Did I mention that they've gone round and removed any unnecessary decorative objects? They've just tried to get the slot count a little bit lower and for it to run a bit smoother. I think. Uh, right up here. So, next farm. Come from there, back down on the lane. We are now here. A plot 119. And again, I'm pretty sure the map came down here. I'm sure it cut across like that because there was a bit there for the sawmill, but I'm pretty sure it did. Um, so we've got our silo just there. This one is this the one that's got the sleep trigger? Yeah. So the farm is here, and buying that buys that little plot there. The sleep trigger, the house, farmhouse is just along the lane. So what we've got here is the silo just there. And then round the back, we've got storage sheds all around here with a water point and fuel point around the back. No bale and pallet storage or anything on this one, no animals on this one, but it has been, again, I've done so many map tours. I'm hoping I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> I know someone said to me once before, the thing is, time-wise, for the prep of this took quite a while because obviously the map's not big. There's a lot of farms. There's a lot of stuff to buy. The, the, the um, change log notes are extensive. The amount of modders um, and content creators of mods and maps that have submitted and helped with this with regard to their... I mean, the list of people involved with textures and mods and and things that have been um, have been used been added in custom sounds custom NPCs custom mission vehicles um, the road network is supposed to work across all of it now um, it does say I can find it credits reference um, contributors tags if there's anyone we forgot to mention apologies I'm trying to think yeah but the, yeah there's a it is extensive if I'd have just sat and read the change log out this, yeah. there's a sleep trigger a little crop sat on the hillside just there and just the whole the whole thing has just been refined you know It's good they've gone in and they've adjusted and tweaked for the animal pens. So it was one of those things people saying, yeah, but I just want to use a base game one and the animals aren't showing. So the fact they've modded those then to include it, you can you still get to use the base game stuff, you know, which is, is pretty handy. Uh, so we come down the road. We are now here. One for one. Do that, that, that and that. As you can see. Now this is an interesting one. Sleep trigger is just there. If we come round into the yard, we've got a fuel point just there. Then we go out and round. Plenty of boat building storage. We've got a large slurry tank, liquid manure tank, just there. Now, on the map, it shows a building here. If we go back to here, it shows this building there, which isn't on the ground. So I'm assuming that's, again, because they're at the limit of the amount of animal pens, that you that's what the slurry pit's for. So if you put a cow barn in here, it would work with that. I'd, I mean, I'll make an assumption there, but silo just there. Silage clamp. I have to hop the fence on the way back round. Yep. And bale and object storage there. That's the one that's one thousand. So that's the large open base shed with object storage. So when it says parked cars, I'm sure it just means all the parked cars like that that are in driveways and stuff, because I, I haven't come across any anywhere else. Right, I'm going to head back out to the main road. Like I said, I'm not going to go down to the sawmill 
and the carpentry which is the, is basically a wood cell point um, because that hasn't changed but they're both required mods come back out onto the lane and out I'm not going to drive all the way out to the spinnery because again that's pretty much the same although I think the placeables point for that might have been extended so the sawmill's just down there you see the blue icons if we come round here I think these as far as I can tell pretty much so we've got Bally Spring Garage and Debris Crusher to the right hand side which are both cell points just in there barrier opens automatically so you've got Debris Crusher inside the building you've got Bally Spring Garage and then we've got Bally Spring Spuds which is just here Got a bit loose, got a bit loose. Turn down here. I think this is pretty much the same. So we drove past there, turning for the sawmill, past the cell points just here, we're now here. 175. Some of these plots do get quite expensive. This is cows as well. Sleep trigger is just there. Cows, I think this is a 500. Fuel point. Yep. Silos around the back. That little track, if we throw the drone up. Track goes up there and there's like an old, maybe it was the original farmhouse. Just there, that's all part of the land we just bought. Silo just here. That's that farm. Now, as I said, come back to that lane and drive all up there that's the spinnery up there there used to be a little plot there that had um a mobile home on it you could buy as a sleep trigger that's not there anymore there is a little little bump out just there but you have to buy all of the forestry bit there to do that which you can if you want to but there's no sleep trigger on it anymore again i think that might be one of the things um by adding in two farms which then have sleep triggers to leave a sleep trigger on its own out there I think they were just doing it to help reduce slot count, that kind of thing. Right, I'm going to see you, because we're going to drive back now. From here, we're going to drive back out onto the road, back out all up there, and come back to the T-junction there. So that's where I will see you in a moment. Just gone past the T-junction. What we're going to do is turn in here. This farm has been rearranged. I came and did some uh, bailing contract with Mrs. City P when we did our version on here. But because this all got changed um, and it probably wasn't working with our save game, so unfortunately we had to stop. So we're now here. This plot is expensive 165, 767, 856. Do that, that, and that. And you will see that our sleep trigger is just at the front there, which has gone past. In through the yard here. Now the yard was quite flat and ran that way before. So it has been changed a lot. Fuel point is just there. Silo just there. Come round the back here. This has now got cows on it. I don't think it had cows on it before. 150 of. I don't think this one's got... Um, we've got a silage clamp just there. No, I don't think this one's got... Bale storage. Spoiler alert. I need that grand. I'm down to my last 7,143,000. Pretty sure that's it here. If I recall correctly. Yeah. Excellent. Now into the town. So what we'll have to do, I'll probably chuck, chuck the drone up. Um, because one of the options we've got to remove parked cars, you have to save the game, come out, and then come back in again for that to take effect. Because they're already put in when the game loads up. So you have to, it will only come into effect once you've saved, gone out, and come back in again. 
so what we'll do that and there was that there was a car on the driveway there we got some cars parked here as well so down a little bit so I'm assuming that's what it means it was interesting I drove around here obviously doing my prep work and um, at the crossing one of the tractors pulled up and then an air horn went off it certainly wasn't me um, which is interesting now the vehicle shop has been changed there was equipment and machinery there was a forklift there was loads of stuff again that's been taken out to reduce slot count workshop trigger is just over here if we come into here we get our options menu for our shop and then what we put back outside again then we come in here we've got our we've got a workshop option in here but we've also got the lift we can raise and lower there's one next door as well But if we come in the door here and we turn to our side here to the right and press L1, I just now move with L1 on. It says hide park cars. If I do hide park cars, you can then show them again, but again, you have to save the game, come out and come back in again. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump back in here, I'm going to save the game. Oh, there you go, there's one of the uh, tankers going past. We'll save the game, come back in again, and that pickup, or that pickup, that van should be gone. Well, we'll see. Park cars should be gone. And there we have it. As you can see, the van that was parked there has gone. So the hand to come around. If I, I'll say, throw the drone up. If we go along to the house that was just along here, the car that was parked on there is gone. There was a tractor. Right, it was here, wasn't it? There was a tractor on the driveway here. So all the parked cars on the map have been removed. So, if, again, if I go back in there and put show parked cars, I need to save it, come back out, come back in again, and they will reappear. We have got electricity charge points, gas station just here. We've got another vehicle workshop trigger just in there with another lift. We come out of here and go down the lane to the biogas plant which has been reworked and revamped in front of the biogas plant we've got this which is basically a contractor's yard if we come from here where are we I've lost myself there we go right we come down this track here so that plot there 31 130,000 do that that and that we get a fuel um a fuel point and we get a water point but that is just a yard with sheds there's no other silos there's no animals nothing like that we do get a bit of land with it as well that's a contractor's yard the biogas plant you buy the biogas plant you don't get the land but interestingly if i press select and select the biogas plant land is zero so farmland 32 i can buy the land for nothing so if you want to add or take away or do whatever you want to do on there you can buy the land for nothing which is pretty cool there's a little castle up on here and that's part of the verges that's been added in so that bit when we bought that um there are some trees there but if you go around to the side you can actually get up onto that land up onto the castle there's a couple of walls and stuff which you can remove as well so we come into our biogas plant silage clamps on the side there we have got a slurry by point just through there we hop out so unfortunately buying the land for zero doesn't get you the biogas plant you've still got to buy it 875,000 is what it will cost you fairly standard as far as i can tell so that's our biogas plant and contractor's yard next door actually that's what i was going to check let's see if we can yep we can but let me sell this spotlights as well yep so you can sell all the bits here if you want to i'm pretty sure if it works the same as everything else i'll to show that at the vehicle shop come up to here and do l1 there we go pretty much around the map any walls and stuff you can so you can completely change this wider larger different it's entirely up to you but i think this version is just all about giving the player far more options for customization how they want to do it and do it their way yeah the slot count of the map is high but it's a big map with a ton of detail on it um 
But that's kind of to be expected. There you go. That wasn't me. Is that the police car? Police car on the lorry. So you can move the walls around the, there and the fence as well. To our left, we've got a wardrobe point. I think it's a little laundrette, is it? But we get a wardrobe trick just there. We come just past here. We've got the Bally Spring Inn. Guinness for strength. Guinness for entire meal. So, sell point here for Bally Spring Inn. Cemetery and church just next door. And then we're going to take a drive out. Because this is where I finished my map tour last time. Because we'd been round and done everything. But we need to go all the way out to here. I'm going to buy this now. That's plot 24. And it's 619,440. Do that, that and that. You see all the triggers appear. Oh, there you go. There's a backhoe. There's a few of those knocking about. I love that. I don't remember seeing that before, but anyway. So, sleep trigger just there. Fuel point just there. Water point just around the back there. Manure heap. Slurry point. Cows, I think this is a 150 as well. There you go. Cows, 150. Again, again as well. That The cow igloo. If that was just added in as a mod that you could put on any map, that's brilliant. I, I still think that the what that's been done on here and... and has now been then put onto a few other different maps with having cows and calves and heifers and bulls and that kind of stuff. Um, that should be a base game thing. And those calf igloos are brilliant on here. Are that, again, awesome. Silo. And then background. Out in the yard. And that, as they say is that that's the map there is a bit of forestry i mean that's that hasn't changed that was here on the previous version we've got some there we've got some over here um but that is bally spring but better bally spring improved i don't know i thought it was pretty good before um <laughs> but anyway uh that's by irish connor glengar boy air agri modding I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.